And we say that because we have numbers on our side. And for this democratic right to have Jacob Zuma as our face and to have MK on the ballot is our democratic right. Don't use power and IEC because you are scared of losing power and use IEC. For this right, we are prepared to literally die. Try us, you'll see. You'll see how I'm going to run those elections. We have numbers on our side. And this is my message. Hear me very carefully. This country will be turned into civil war. Yeah! The day that MK yeah! is not allowed to campaign and to be on the ballot paper. No one will vote. No one in this country will vote. We will make sure of it. No one in this country will vote. If MK is not on the ballot paper, Controversy. 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 My views are my personal views. They're not the views of the controversies with party. And I must say that if I was misconstrued in any way, I want to apologize. I certainly will not incite any form of violence. I do not believe that, that our country uh, uh, can, can afford to have uh, attention of this nature, especially in the run-up to the elections. We want a free and fair election where every South African can campaign, can vote for the party of their choice without parties like the ANC using uh, court processes, IEC processes to uh, stifle the democratic will of the people. Dark clouds loom over South Africa's upcoming elections as controversial figures like Bonging Kosi Kanile and Visvin Reddy of the MK party have threatened violence and even civil war if their party is excluded from the ballot. Are these mere empty threats, or is the nation indeed facing a wave of election-related unrest? The upcoming 2024 elections in South Africa mark a pivotal moment in the nation's democratic journey. With a rich history of political struggle and progress, South Africans are gearing up to exercise their democratic right to vote once again. However, amidst the anticipation and fervor, a cloud of controversy looms over the potential exclusion of the MK party from the ballot paper. The MK party finds itself embroiled in a contentious debate regarding its eligibility to participate in the upcoming elections. Led by seasoned politicians and activists, the party has garnered a significant following among segments of the population, who resonate with its message of social justice and equality. The controversy surrounding the MK party's potential exclusion stems from allegations of electoral irregularities and misconduct leveled against the party leadership. Accusations range from financial impropriety to breaches of electoral regulations, casting doubt on the party's integrity and eligibility to contest in the elections. The Independent Electoral Commission, tasked with ensuring free and fair elections in South Africa, has come under scrutiny for its handling of the situation. Critics argue that the Commission's decision to consider excluding the MK party from the ballot paper raises concerns about the impartiality and transparency of the electoral process. Supporters of the MK party vehemently defend its right to participate in the elections, citing its historical significance and contribution to the struggle for democracy in South Africa. They argue that any attempt to exclude the party from the electoral process would undermine the principles of inclusivity and pluralism upon which the nation's democracy is built. Conversely, opponents of the MK party contend that the allegations of misconduct cannot be ignored and must be thoroughly investigated before allowing the party to participate in the elections. They argue that upholding the integrity of the electoral process is paramount to safeguarding democracy and ensuring that all political parties adhere to the highest standards of ethical conduct. The party's threats of violence and civil war if denied participation in the elections underscore a broader frustration with what they perceive as systemic marginalization and exclusion from mainstream political discourse. For individuals like Bonging Kosi Kanile and Visvin Reddy, who have risen to prominence within the party, the prospect of being sidelined in the democratic process represents a betrayal of the principles for which they fought. Kanile, a vocal advocate for social justice and economic empowerment, has repeatedly warned of dire consequences should the MK party be barred from contesting the elections. His rhetoric, often laced with references to the sacrifices made during the struggle against apartheid, resonates deeply with disenfranchised communities who feel marginalized by the current political establishment. Similarly, Visvin Reddy, a seasoned politician known for his impassioned speeches and unwavering commitment to the MK party cause, has echoed Carnile's sentiments, 
cautioning against the dangerous precedent of excluding dissenting voices from the democratic arena. Reddy's influence within the party, coupled with his strong grassroots support, lends credence to the seriousness of the MK party's threats. The spectre of violence and civil unrest looms large over South Africa's political landscape as the MK party's defiance serves as a stark reminder of the unresolved tensions lingering beneath the surface of the country's democratic facade. While the ANC-led government has thus far sought to downplay the severity of the situation, dismissing the MK party's threats as mere posturing, the underlying grievances driving their discontent remain unaddressed. Instances of violent rhetoric and veiled threats from MK party leaders have fueled apprehensions about the party's intentions during the upcoming elections. The language used by some party members has been inflammatory, stoking tensions and fostering an atmosphere of uncertainty and fear. The potential impacts of election violence linked to the MK party are multifaceted and far-reaching. Firstly, any outbreak of violence threatens to undermine the integrity of the electoral process, casting doubt on the legitimacy of the results and eroding public trust in democracy. Such incidents could deter voters from participating in the elections, leading to disenfranchisement and a skewed representation of the will of the people. Moreover, election-related violence has the potential to escalate into broader societal unrest, exacerbating existing social and economic grievances. South Africa, already grappling with high levels of inequality, unemployment, and poverty, cannot afford the destabilizing effects of political violence. It could hamper economic growth, deter foreign investment, and tarnish the country's image on the global stage. The ramifications of election violence extend beyond the immediate aftermath of the polls. A cycle of violence and retribution could ensue, perpetuating a climate of fear and insecurity that undermines the fabric of South African society. Trust between communities may erode, deepening divisions along ethnic, racial, and political lines and hindering efforts towards reconciliation and nation-building. Addressing the concerns surrounding potential election violence linked to the MK party requires a multifaceted approach. Political leaders must unequivocally condemn any form of violence and incitement, emphasizing the importance of peaceful and democratic means of resolving differences. Law enforcement agencies must remain vigilant and proactive in preventing and addressing any instances of election-related violence, ensuring that perpetrators are held accountable for their actions. Upholding democratic principles is paramount in this process. This involves ensuring equal access to voting, safeguarding freedom of speech and assembly, and guaranteeing the integrity of electoral processes. By adhering to these principles, authorities can build trust among citizens and reinforce the legitimacy of the electoral system. In conclusion, elections are not merely events on a calendar, but pillars of democracy, embodying the aspirations and will of the people. As we navigate the complexities of the electoral process, let us remain steadfast in our commitment to peaceful and inclusive elections. By upholding the principles of transparency, accountability, and civic participation, we can forge a future where every voice is heard and every vote counts. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe.